Hi there guys, this is The Average Joe and today we're going to dive again into some engineering. Okay, uh, it's not going to be engineering, I'm just to, going to explain you to you why you should listen to the engineer and uh, don't trust a shady contractor when you're being told you need to do some geotechnical studies before you get your house designed and uh, the foundation solutions um, set in place okay so let me get to my whiteboard and i'm just going to explain to you what's actually going on now guys in order for you to understand why you need a basic geotechnical study before you uh, settle up on your foundation solution and why the engineer asks for a says he's going to need a geotechnical study well the first thing is that the earth the dirt you're putting your house on is um, on different has different layers Usually, the first layer, the topsoil, is uh, vegetable soil. And uh, this soil has a very low compression, um, compression strength. Now, the, more, the deeper you go, you're going to have different layers of soil. And these different layers of soil will have different compression strengths. I mean, it's one thing to put your foundations in clay, and it's another thing to put your foundation on bedrock. Now, the most, one of the most important things that uh, an engineer will want to know about uh, the soil you're building your house on is first of all depending on the part of the world where you, where your house is um, is going to be built he's going to need to know where the um, frost line is for example i've told you in my previous video that uh, i'm doing this series because a friend of mine is building a house and he started building without a design and uh, just based on some shady contractor where we are based the frost line is approximately 1.2 meters deep that's about uh, 4 foot Now, considering the frost line is about 4 foot, your foundation is going to, to have to be a little bit lower. And as I was saying before, you're usually just going to be in the second uh, layer of dirt, considering this is topsoil. whatever soil I don't know now through the geotechnical study your engineer will be able to calculate how big of a footing you're going to need in order for your house to be able to stand and not settle because because if you are not able to calculate the footings for your house and you start your house starts settling uh, I don't know you build your house with the footings and then the house starts to settle in one part just a little bit and in another part a lot 
you're going to have cracks in your walls, you're going to have foundation issues, and this is going to cost a whole lot of money to repair. So, the idea with the geotechnical studies is that with paying, I don't know how much, for, for, for my friend, where we are, it would have cost him like, um, I don't know, $1,400, $1,500 a geotechnical study. And uh, now he's in a position where he has to put about uh, $12,000 into the consolidation of his existing foundation. So consider that when you're going to hear somebody saying that you don't need because they've built houses in the same area and they know everything. No, they don't. That's stupid. Uh, generally, the, posi the, the layers of the soil are not very different in a set area. But um, what the conditions are here are not going to be the same conditions 10 miles away. Do you understand that? So this uh, shady contractor that my friend got had a house built for himself about uh, half a mile from the place where my... It's actually more like a one kilometer from the place where my friend is uh, building his house. And I've been to the contractor's house because I wanted to discuss with him some problems we have. And uh, his actual house is having uh, um, settlement problems. His foundation is cracked and uh, my friend didn't notice that until I showed him because on the outside of the contract contractor's house uh, there is a uh, new thermal system which is put on the cracked uh, walls so he just covered thing covered the things up and said he's good to go but um, i could i showed to my friend the cracked foundation because he has a foundation um, over the level of the earth like 70 centimeters and you could see cracks in the foundation when you could put a finger inside. Okay, they've been uh, grouted over, but uh, there were still foundation issues. So both by have the contractor having his house like one kilometer away and uh, something like um, almost 100 meters lower than uh, where my friend is going to be is building his house. Um, I explained to my friend that he does need to get a, um, a geotechnical study so I can design him a proper footing for his house. The main issue is that uh, over the winter um, his foundation is uh, laying um, like 60 centimeters into the earth that's half of the way to the frost line and over the winter um, he only has the foundation built over the winter he had the materials on one end of the foundation and that foundation is now cracked and has a about one inch crack in it and uh, his foundation right now is something like that. Uh, here he has about, uh, he has actually 27 millimeters on top of the foundation. This is one point inches, is more than an inch. And the, his settlement is uh, about a 10 centimeter settlement. So guys, please don't do the same mistake as my friend. If your engineer says you need a um, geotechnical study, you need it.
Now, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this uh, informative. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time.